okay so we have added this fa fsi and now i'm going to edit this uh, uh, i am going to add the edit icon so i press i and here i'm going to add its class so what's the class of this one so it's a uh, fas fas uh, fas fa edit okay and if you don't know what's the class of uh, this one so you can search them on the google so let me close uh, the banking app and this one and here you can instantly search this uh, font to uh, away some file search and yes it is playing the edit icon and let me also tell you that uh, if you don't know what's the icon name so you can search it from the font of some website so we use this font 5 so that's why i'm using this uh, font to uh, you know, i'm visiting this font 5 version so you can choose uh, whatever version you are using this in your cdn link so here you can search this edit and this icon will be available here right so just to and yes these are available and when you click on some one link so it's now displaying the FAFAS edit and it's basically displaying the full one right and if you need uh, something like we need the trash icon so how you can find this you just type trash and it will display the trash icon right it displaying so let's click on this and uh, let's get this trash icon right and go here and replace with this uh, danger save this one let's get refresh and yes we now got this trash icon also so one more question here arise that how we can view the information how to edit and delete so basically we you need an id so basically you are doing this in your previous project but let me give you that here you will uh, pass your let me go here and write this out here you will pass your route name for example your route name is uh, post dot uh, you want to view this so it would be post dot show and then in the next parameter you need to pass the post id right so in this way it will go to, to uh, it will visit the post slash uh, show method and where you can display all of the information of specific post right so you can also add this for the edit and edit this into the form and also delete this post but i'm not going to implement this out here because uh, these are the repeated stuff almost it's identical so you can do this yourself but uh, i'm just giving you an idea that how you can do this okay so our post or edit and now the time is to add this image link right i'm going to display an image so here let's uh, remove this image path and I'm going to load uh, my post image. So I'm going to call the post and then remember we build the relation between post and gallery. So just type gallery and in the gallery we have an image, right? Save this one and it's going to load the image, right? But we need the image path that where our image is stored. It's going to just display the image path and it will display that image not found. But if I go here and I'm going to check this through the inspect element that image exists or not. So let's so visit this, click on this and yes it is playing the image name with extension which is stored in the database but we need the path here that where it's stored and then, then we will add the image. So now question arises that where our, our image is stored. So basically our images are stored in the public directory so let's go to the public and in the public we have images directory and post and then our images located right so here i need to add the same thing so i need to add the first uh, i'm going to add here uh, asset helper right and then i'm going to concat with this one so here i'm going to call the uh, asset not asset i'm going to call the basically images slash uh, posts and then after this post i want to call this gallery image so let's try it that it's is it uh, going to work or not okay and if i go ahead and let's choose any of the image okay so it's uh, edit this uh, look oops uh, 
और लेट्स वेट फॉर अ मोमेंट टू रिफ्रेश इट कम्प्लीटली बिकॉज इट्स इन द प्रोसेस एंड नाउ ओके ओके इट्स ऑलमोस्ट कम्प्लीटेड राइट सो नाउ लेट मी चूज समेज फ्राम हेयर सो इट्स डिस्प्लेइंग लोकल होस्ट मेजेज एंड देन पोस्ट एंड हेयर वी नीड टू एड स्लैश दैन इट्स गोइंग टू वर्क सो दिस स्लैश इज नॉट वर्किंग सो वी नीड टू कनकेट द स्लैश राइट हेयर we need to add a uh, string so basically this one is a string that's why we added this in the quotation so now it's going to load our images so then okay let's wait for a moment to complete this process and yes it's to, uh, showing the cdl image if i go here and copy this and it's going to open this image and yes it's opening this image so it means that our these images are working and these two ones are not working because whenever we are creating our post uh, first uh, when we created first two post our two images are not stored when uh, when we have issues with the directory permission issue right so our images are working fine right we added this here but what if uh, i need to for example we have uh, uh 1000 images so this will be loaded every time images slash post slash this one right but i don't want to call this every time because i told you that i want to make this project as a professional developer right so i will teach you that how you can structure your project how to follow the best practices to improve your code and improve the code uh, structure project structure okay so i'm not going to add this out here right so just remove this one so it's going to load only the image path right okay so now i want to make this so before this uh, i'm going to show the image width and height so here let me go the style uh, width okay so let me turn on my screen is turned off okay Let's wait. And here I need to add the width of 70 px. So let's get refresh, and this will be looks more bigger than previous one. Okay. Let's. Oh, it's not going to load this image because we removed its path, right? So I'm going to add its path. using the accessor so you are familiar with the accessor accessor are basically used when we are fetching some information you want to apply the apply the uh, you can apply the string with this helper or you can perform any of the operation when you are getting the values from the uh, from the database right so this is our post model we are interacting with the post model that's why i'm going to post model and here i'm going to define the accessor right so now let's go here and you can view this laravel documentation that how accessor works and what's the proper syntax so if you don't know that how to implement this i know that how to implement this but i'm going to show you that uh, how you can search it from the documentation so you can search this here accessor oops accessors and mutators okay so you need to define accessor like this so this is a new syntax but in the previous one you need to define the public and then you need to call the uh, you need to add here accessor and then you need to define return and like this but this is a new one where you can add accessors uh, and mutators at once so here i'm going to define an accessor which would be a protected and this would be a function oops Then and here I'm going to define the column name. Here you need to specify your column name. So in our case, our column name would be the image. And remember, we need to apply this on the on the gallery model because we are interacting with the image, and image is stored in the gallery model. So here I'm going to define the protected function, and then I'm going to define the name of field. So our field name is image, which is stored in the gallery table. so here i'm going to call this uh, attribute and remember don't add this attribute it will add this use attribute at the top but we need this second one 
or database eloquent cost otherwise your mutator is not going to work if you add the first one right okay and then you need to type here return new and then you need to call the attribute right and here you need to pass your as your documentation oh it's a make and in the make you need to pass your things like right okay so here you need to call the make and you can pass the information so first you need to define the you can define the accessor or mutator it's totally upon you like this so this is the basically a uh, new syntax of defining the closure right so here i'm going to define it to like uh, get and this get contain like fn and fn is going to accept a value or you can do whatever or you can say that it will be an image and then you need to define the arrow and this arrow here i'm going to apply the path right so i want to change the path with this image so this one is an image so basically i want to add some path with this one right so i'm not going to add this here i'm going to add a, a, a property at the top and then i will concat with this one so here i'm going to add this uh, public and in the public um, i'm going to name this uh, uh, uploads and uploads equal here i'm going to specify public slash uh, then i'm going to add the images slash post okay and make sure you edit this last one this uh, slash otherwise it's not going to work and then i'm going to concat with this one so here i'm going to use this and then i'm going to call the uploads okay uploads and i'm going to concat with this image so basically i'm getting this uh, image path and concatting with this image right so why it's throwing there it says unexpected identifier make so let me confirm in documentation and okay so i need to, i don't need to initialize this so created the object return attribute make and yes our error is gone so now let's get refresh and check that our path is working or not and sorry guys our video size is going bigger but i'm going to explain this uh, full post to index here to give you a give you a proper demo in this video i'm not going to create second one explain this same functionality to the next video if i go here and check that what's the path of this one so basically it's a public images post and then it's not to exactly opening the path so let me open this in the new tab post and image so what's the mistake we need to remove this public so then it's going to work and yes it's loading this one right just go back and remove this public because we don't need to mention this public so you can confirm this path through this inspect element right i'm going to now remove this one because it's going to load load the image and yes our images are loading properly so you can and uh, view this in the bigger screen also if you want to display this bigger so you can expand its size right so our overall um, our overall point is how we can display the post uh, in the images uh, in the table and uh, how to uh, edit and delete uh, these images i told you that how you can do this and how to display these images and their path uh, as a um, accessor so if you like this video please subscribe the youtube channel and share your feedback that uh, how much you like this video which which step you liked and uh, and uh, stay connected for the next video bye bye